Yo, what is up guys? It is me, Balloon Runner HD here, bringing all of you a guide on how to properly install the Optifine mod for 1.7.4 Minecraft on a Windows 8 computer. Now, I'm pretty sure as long as it's 1.7.4, it'll work on Windows 7, but for now, let's just stick with Windows 8. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you have no Minecraft-related Windows open. So, you don't want to have the game open, you don't want to have the launcher open, you don't want to have anything Minecraft-related open, so... After you've done that, go ahead and go to your browser, and just go to Google because it's the easiest, and type in Optifine Downloads. Now, it's already there for me. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you're going to bring it to a Google search page, and you're going to want to click on the one that says Optifine.net slash downloads. Go ahead and click on it, and the link will be in the description for this um, website. So you're going to come up to a page like this. It's going to have all of the Optifine downloads from 1.0 all the way to 1.7.4 or whatever the current Minecraft is. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Ultra version, um, UCA. I'm going to download this one. Go and hit download. It'll bring you to an AdFly page. And you're just going to want to wait for your thing. So you're going to up in the top right hand corner, you're going to hit skip ad. So you can skip that ad and then just hit download Optifine under 1.7.4 HD U or whatever you have. Click download. It'll give you this little thing right here. I'm going to keep the file. So after you've done that, you can go ahead and just open the file. And it makes it really easy. So you don't need um, WinRAR. You don't need like, um, what is the other one? Minecraft. I don't remember what the other one is, but you don't need any of that. You're just going to hit install. Optifine was installed successfully. Hit OK. Go and X out of the tab, and then just go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. And the really cool thing about this is that it'll automatically create an Optifine profile for you. So, wait for it to load. So I'm on the Optifine profile right down here, and it says "Welcome, ready to play Minecraft 1.7.4 Optifine HD." So that is the one that I download. So it's already gonna have the profile made for you, which is really convenient. So go ahead and hit play. Alright, so once you have opened your Minecraft, go ahead and either create a new world or just log on to one of the worlds that you already have. So I'm going to log on to this one I named Optifine Test. Go and hit the escape button to pause the game and then go to options, video settings. And you're going to see you have a lot more options in the video settings. So let's just jump straight into it. Graphics fast, smooth lighting off, smooth lighting level all the way down to the left, so it's off. GUI scale, I haven't really seen much of a difference in this. Um, I wouldn't really change it because, I mean, if you change it, who wants to deal with a GUI that's this small? Really, no one does. So just keep it on auto, it'll adjust to you. Brightness, you want to be all the way on bright. Fog off, server textures off. Going up here to render distance, I like to keep mine around 8 because it's just normal but if you're experiencing a lot of lag you're going to want to have it on completely down to two which is very very tiny now max frame rate just keep that unlimited so you don't have a limit to that how high your fps can actually go view bobbing i haven't really seen much of a difference i like to keep this on just because it looks more realistic advanced open gl you want to have this on fast now some people might not be able to go to advanced open gl because their graphics card might not support it however mine does and if yours does you're going to want to have it on fast because what this does is that it loads only terrain that you can see so what i'm seeing right now is the only part that's being loaded anything behind me is not being loaded all right so trunk loading you want to have that on smooth or multi-core um, default I mean it's just default it's nothing special uh, I like to keep it on smooth multi-core I don't I'm not really sure what that is but you keep it on smooth fog start doesn't matter because you didn't do anything you turn the fog off I mean and then we're gonna go over to the details tag or uh, tab clouds you want to have off trees fast water fast sky off sun and moon off depth fag depth fog off Translucent blocks fast, cl cloud height off, grass fast, rain and snow off, stars off, show capes off, held item tooltips on, because that's, I'm pretty sure that's the, um, when you scroll to a different item, it shows you what the tool is. Dropped items fast. Alright, animations. This is a really easy one, all you gotta do is just hit all off down here and you're done. Go to quality and mipmap levels off, anti Antisotropic filtering off, clear water off, better grass off, custom fonts off, water colors off, or sorry, derp, swamp colors off, 
connected textures off, custom sky off, bitmap type linear, anti-aliasing off, and then all of these off. So if you do need to copy down the um, the uh, options and the settings that I have them on, do pause the video. So smooth FPS on, oh, but yeah, this is in your uh, performance tab. Smooth FPS on, load far off, chunk updates one, fast math on, fast render on. Smooth world, this is weird for me. I can't really turn it on. Um, but if you could, then just keep it on. Preloaded chunks off, dynamic, di bleh, dynamic updates off. Lazy chunk loading, now same with the smooth world. I cannot turn this on. Um, but if you do have the option to, then go ahead and turn it on. Other, lagometer off, weather off, debug profiler off, time default, autosave, 20s, 3D analoglyph off. Unless you have like three-dimensional blue and, and red glasses, which is just really cool. Now, for full screen, you're going to want to have that on because what this does is it puts, when it puts your Minecraft in full screen mode, it makes it so it's focusing on Minecraft and not any other programs in the background. So it's like putting all the stuff and juice into Minecraft. So those are it for the video settings. Um, now, music and sound, just pretty easy. Just turn that all the way off so you don't have to deal with music and sound. And that is pretty much how to deal with laggy computers when using Optifine. Copy down those settings, and you should get the best result for the lag. Oh, that's a pretty cool world, actually. But uh, yeah, I really hope this video did help you. If it did, then please do drop a like, a comment, and maybe do subscribe. This has been Balloon Runner HD, and I am out.